we're given two vectors u equals 3 2 and v equals minus 2 1 and we're asked to find scalars a and b so that a times u plus b times v is this given vector 2 1 let's start by writing down that equation with the actual vectors a times 3 2 plus b times minus 2 1 is equal to 2 1 by re-expressing this left hand side using simple vector scalar multiplication and vector addition we can re-express that as a vector with components 3a minus 2b and 2a plus b and we're wondering are there numbers a and b so that this vector is equal to this vector well the only way those two vectors can be the same is if the first components are equal and the second components are equal so that's going to give us two equations that a and b have to satisfy those equations are 3a minus 2b equals 2 and 2a plus b is equal to 1 now there are a couple of different ways to proceed from here a few different ways I'm just gonna sketch one you might look at this second equation and say well if I rearrange it I can get b on the left hand side by itself and b would then be 1 minus 2a okay so we know what b is in terms of a you can take this expression for b and plug it in to this b here in the first equation so then you'd have something like this 3a minus 2 what you have for b there is equal to 2 and what this will be is an expression involving only the variable or the scalar a so you'll be able to solve this for a and you'll get a to be some number now once you have that you can take it and plug it in to this a here and you'll have b equals some number so you'll get a number for a a number for b and those numbers those scalars will allow um, 2 1 the vector 2 1 to be expressed as a times u plus b times v here's a little picture this blue vector here is u which is 3 2 the red vector here is v minus 2 1 and the green vector over here is the vector 2 1 and the question is can we find numbers a and b so that a u plus b v is equal to 2 1 now a u plus b v that's this black vector here and I can adjust a by sliding this slider here so if I change a you see a u that's the dotted blue vector there that's longer so can I find values for a and b so that that black vector matches the green vector well maybe it's not so easy maybe something like this well, it seems to be getting a little bit closer there hmm in fact for these particular values of a and b I see that this black vector here does indeed equal the green vector.